Hello, welcome back to the Crafty Duck Beer Channel. I'm back in the bar today, just sat upstairs in my office. Had a fairly decent sized delivery yesterday, over 20 plus new cans coming in and plenty of draft for when we reopen next week. Uh, but first of all, I'm just going to show you for a few of the new things that came in. Uh, maybe some new brewers to you, maybe some new beers for you. Uh, so we'll have a quick wander through those and check out some new beers. Okay, so let's have a look at some new beers. Going to need my glasses for these ones. So first up, we've got from Polly's Brew, Back to Earth, West Coast Pale, 5.6. Uh, Polly's have releasing some really, really cracking stuff at the minute. Um, I had one of their West Coast's uh, last week, Monster Cat. Very, very nice. Just got some, doing some great stuff out of uh, mould, I think, uh, in North Wales. Again, I've got one of theirs on draft at the minute for an off license like we are. But I've got two or three in the cellar again. So, yeah, good stuff from Polly's coming out in a minute. The next one up is from Almasti. Blissful Wizard Pale Ale featuring a prominent herbal lemon aroma. A taste of Blissful Wizard. Heaps of Simcoe, Amarillo, Mosaic, Citra, Ooze. Okay, so that's going to be, yeah, dank and tropical. That's going to be full of flavours. We've had Almasti a few times here at the bar. Uh, I can't say I've ever tried them. I'm trying to work out where they're from. They are from Newcastle upon Tyne. Okay, so they're fairly new. We've got a few other things on 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 draft. If you see the their logo, um, the badge turned up, and it literally was like a, a thick piece of of wood, like a tree wood, with a badge on. Brilliant. But I mean, it was completely impractical. It doesn't stay on the taps, but looks great. Uh, next up, hey, our friends from Clywater in Manchester. Um, this is their, their recipe evolution. They're doing an IPA one, they're doing a DDH, and they've done different numbers. I think we had all the DDHs up to four. That was the last one last week. This is three. This is the IPA. It basically just says, our recipe's gone the gradual, continuous, continuous evolution as we refine the process. Um, if you've seen one of my other videos, you know that Clive what we've got into Tesco's, uh, mainly collabs uh, in the four pack. Um, and they've released a few of their core beers, but they're all brewed by uh, Brewdog under contract, under license. Um, a few people have been complaining they, they have a Brewdog taste to them. And this is Clywater itself. Um, they're getting Brewdog to make them basically so they haven't got to give up any capacity on their own. I'll try this one this week because this will be cracking because they just are. Just love Clywater. Just one of the best. Next one up is The Future. I think it's supposed to be the Future 7, isn't it? Or, or I misread that. And this is from Abyss, another West Coast IPA. Where are they from? They're from Lewes in East Sussex. So if you know Lewes, that's where Harvey's are, if you like your car scale. Uh, it's vegan. It's 6.5. Uh, Strata, Simcoe, Columbus and Sentinel. So all the usual suspects you'd expect in the West Coast. We've had a few Abyss before. I really, really like them. Um, yeah, we had an Abyss and Play collab. Uh, Pixel Party was a dipper, and that was really, really cracking. Um, next up, Glen Afric. Uh, I found Glen Afric, discovered Glen Afric, I found them, discovered Glen Afric during lockdown. Uh, uh, they're from the Wirral in, uh, I want to say Liverpool or Merkinhead. No, 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 they're from Birkenhead, sorry. Not the Wirral, must be another one. Uh, it's really, really good brewery. Really, really good beers. They do a, a great lager. Again, we do. But this is... Uh, an extra pale ale, so this will be nice and light. Extra pale malt and wheat for a light biscuit taste. So yeah, that one will be a nice one to drink. 4.9, so yeah, that's still kicking there. I think I'll save my favourite till, till the end. Uh, what have we got here? We've got another Abyss. I just think I like the can on this one. This is a pale ale. Uh, pale Deluxe Simcoe and Mosaic. There we go. You probably can't see because the can's reflecting off everything in this room. Uh, Simcoe Mosaic, like it says, yeah, just really, really like these 4.8. I think that's a cracking beer. Uh, got a lot of duration this week. I haven't shown you a lot of duration because I tend to get the same ones in as a the West Coast uh IPA Happiness uh returns that I reviewed last week, and there's other ones like Baubles of Vanity, they're all really, really good, really, really like duration. Uh, but this is a collab, um, with Boxcar. It's a boxcar out of East London. Uh, again, I've got a lot of time for boxcar. Uh, this one's vegan friendly as well. It's 6%. Uh, 
Uh, da, 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 da. So this is a New England IPA and it comes in at 6%. Like I always say, hops very fast, so drink fresh. But yeah, I love the can. So it's got the, the boxcar kind of look about it. But we still got the duration vibe. Yeah, so that one I will no doubt try in the next few days. Um, just wanted to do another Clydewater one just because I just like saying you can't get this in the supermarket. So we teamed up with Manchester Acoustic Electronica Band Go Go Penguin to celebrate the release of their album. So I love this. This is Clive Water doing what they do best is looking after the small person. Yes, they've gone into Tesco's and, you know, they have, they have to make a living. All profits from this beer will go to the NHS Christie charity, a specialist cancer treatment based in Manchester. So 5.8, you know, it's for a good cause. And you know it's Clive Water. You know it's going to be absolutely banging. And I've saved the best for last because, again, I didn't really touch on this on videos, but it's Volk City. And as you know, they've gone, they put a couple of their, their sour beers in small bottles into uh, Tesco's as well. But this is the one that's free came this week. This is the DDH Hard Lemonade. Um, we've got an orange juice IPA uh, and one of these means it's 11.3. This one's 9.5. This is Citra and Azaka. So you know this is just going to be so sour. And I don't think I've done a Volk City uh, review. So, yeah, Volk City may well be on the list. Uh, so that's the new beers. Like I said, no doubt in the next week or so, I'll be trying a few. Uh, I give my opinions on them. That's all I do. I give my opinion. I'm no beer expert. I'm just a beer lover. Uh, we've got some more videos being recorded in the next couple of days. And I've got some guests coming in. So, yeah, I, w I won't be sat on my own at Jimmy Lima, so I'll have someone to talk to. So, somebody to keep me company. But we've got, yeah, we've got staff members coming to do and help and having their opinion on what beers they like. Uh, I've got uh, a guest for a podcast, hopefully we're going to do this weekend, maybe. Uh, and we're going to talk to him. He does hot sauces and horror and loves his craft beer. So, that'll be a good one. And I've got a whiskey tasting. Yes, whiskey, you hear me say. I know this is a craft beer channel, but I am a bar. I am sat in the bar now. And we do do a lot of spirits uh, and we're just going to kind of carry on with the what even is uh, kind of stream that I've been doing with lagers and IPAs. I'm not going to do what even is lager, uh, whiskey and we'll talk you through regions of Scotland and we'll just give you entry level ones to come in. If you like these videos, we'll do more of them. Just, you know, comment and tell us below. Tell us what you want us to do. We're a bar. Where do you want us to go? And like I said, other than that, just like, subscribe and we'll see you on the other side.